Each year, there are more than 111 million hacks in the United States, and most of them happen because of weak passwords. At the end of last year, Google and Apple decided to update their phone and web browsers to use passkey technology to see if it could prevent more cyber attacks. But is it a safer option? Every 39 seconds, someone is a victim of a cyber attack. It's believed that passwords have become weaker security since hackers have become more advanced. Now, pass keys might be our best bet for privacy. But do you know the difference between passwords and pass keys? A pass key is a software token that's on your, on your device. So you still have something you have to have, which is your phone, and it's enabled with biometrics like Touch ID or Face ID. To see a demo of how passkeys work, go to webauthn.io, type in a fake username, press register, then continue to save the passkey. Then to actually use the passkey you just created, press authenticate and continue. Then it will scan your fingerprint or face and you're done. UCF cybersecurity officer David Zambi says that pass keys are better for protection, but it's not available everywhere just yet. So for the time being... What I would recommend is a good username and password. And when I say a good password, it should be a long password and it should be generated by a password generator. Zambri also said that until pass keys are on all platforms, you can safely secure your login information to your accounts in an encrypted document on your device.